Rodrigo. Hey, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm I, I, I watching Facebook. <laughs> oh, how often do you check your Facebook? Um, a lot of times. A lot of times. In, Frequent. In Frequent. Okay. Is your Facebook English or Spanish? It's in English because I read a lot of news in English. Good. For example, B B B BBC, CNN in English. Um, what else? That's good. Um, That's good. You you expose yourself to the language. Yes. Yes. I I. I like reading English. Nice, in, nice. In, I, I have a book, um, is Take the Stairs. Okay. Uh, Rory Baden is about um, self-discipline. Good. And commitment, hard work. Nice. It's a, it's a good, it's a good. Um, it's book. motivational reading. Yes, it's about motivation and self-discipline. That's good. The it, core of the book is self-discipline. Good, that's good. That's good that you're reading in English, that's good. Yeah. Nice. Adrian, how are you? Hi, teacher, how are you? Good, how about you? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't hear the question. Uh, what about you? How are you? Okay. Well, I, I had a fine day because uh -huh. in, in in the work uh, at work uh, my my boss uh, is on vacation for two weeks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm working mm -hmm. bad in <laughs> relax mode. <laughs> mm. That's good. That's good. Mm. So you're you're taking things um, easily now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's true. You know, sometimes when 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 you see that um, the supervisor or the boss is not in the office, sometimes um, people get in a good mood. Yes. Yes, that's right. And it's natural, and it's and it's normal. It, it's not that you have something against your supervisor or that you have something against your boss. It's just natural. Yes. You feel free. <laughs> I feel free, yes. <laughs> Good. But and, I was working a lot. Really? <laughs> yes. Okay, but, and where do you work again? Well, I work in IFP Confia. I work in, in technology. I'm a uh, development software. Oh, okay, good, good. That's nice. What branch, Adrian? Uh, well, uh, Oracle and Java language. But what branch? Like Salvador del Mundo, downtown, Santana? Okay, okay I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Salvador del Mundo. Okay, very good. Evelyn. Hi, good evening. How are you, Evelyn? I can complain, can you? Good, let me put my glasses so I can see you better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ricardo, how are you today? Okay, you? I'm okay, you? Good, thanks, thanks. Another day. Oh, yes. <laughs> Are you guys ready for Christmas? Yes. Oh my God, I, I, I think oh, yes. So. yes. <laughs> okay. Why not? Sure, good question, why not? <laughs> why not? Good. Do you have vacation in Christmas? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I, I, I don't have vacation. Okay. I don't have vacation. My job is crazy. Okay. But you have annual vacation. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
So every yes. year you, you have your, how, how much time do you get for your annual vacation? 15 days. Oh. 15 days. Um, I, I can, uh, I can take my, my vacation. Um, how do you say repartidas? Uh, in parts. Split in parts. Or yeah. split is a good word too. Okay, thanks. Thanks. I take my vacations in in parts or splits. Uh, yes. All right, very good. All right, so thank you for being punctual. Today is October the 23rd. We have one more week and October is history. Mm -hmm. Yep. Incredible. Yeah, time is going so fast. So time fast. Flies. Time flies. Yep, time flies. Time goes very fast. And sometimes 24 hours is not enough. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you usually leave things for the following day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's begin. Uh, let's have a review. Uh, which topics did we see yesterday? Present perfect and present perfect continuous. Very good. Okay, so, so what's the main difference between those two? Uh, Anybody? Uh, the main difference. Yeah, the main difference between the uh, present perfect and the present perfect continuous. In the uh, structure of the of the tense, uh, the the form because um, in in present perfect the the form of the verb is the base form. Are you sure? Uh, I know. <laughs> I know. Oh. Is um, no, no, no. I don't remember. It's okay. Somebody wants to help Rodrigo. Only one. Only one. Oh, don't fight. No, it's, it's <laughs> ing. Ing form. Don't fight. It is ing form. Are you sure? The verb is in okay, participle uh, form. I know that. Uh, the... For for the present perfect. Yes, Ricardo. I know that for the present perfect, you use that that force just when you don't have any specific time. Okay, right. You use the present and perfect. The present you don't mention when. Is, uh -huh. Yeah, and the present continuous is. When you try to decide and finish uh, a situation, for example, uh, I'm going to, and you use uh, the ING auxiliary for, for change words. Okay, somebody wants to pitch in? Yes, teacher. Yes, talk to me. I read, I read in the internet uh, a tip. Yes, sir. And and they they said that the present perfect is a uh, general. It's, it's like general form, not a, not a specific. Okay. The present perfect continuous is a specific time. Okay. All right. Someone else wants to give your opinion? Somebody? Anybody? Mario? I think that Marco? yesterday, no. yesterday, uh, yesterday you gave us a tip. Um, you gave us a tip, excuse okay. me. And you say that present perfect, uh, when you are using present perfect, it means that uh, the action, um, maybe you are doing the action right now, or maybe not. But when you use present perfect continuous, it means that you are doing the action in this moment. 
good, good, very good. Yes, uh, that would be like the main difference. Uh, like Teresa says, when you use the present perfect, there is the possibility that you're still doing the action or you also have the possibility that when you use present perfect, you're not doing the action. It doesn't matter which scenario you're using, the action is not finished, right? Now, with the present perfect continuous, you start in the past and you are doing the action, doing the action. when you're speaking. Okay. Okay, are we okay there? Okay. Okay. All right. So today, uh, have you had the chance to check the platform? Yes. Oh, really? no. Oh, no. Not yet. Okay. Um, uh, there is one topic in the platform where the lady mentions the past perfect. Now, the past perfect is a whole different story. So this week we have seen present perfect, simple past, present perfect continuous, and today we will mention, only mention, the past perfect. Who remembers the function of the past perfect? Anybody? I don't remember. Okay. Um, if you compare the past perfect and the present perfect in terms of structure, the only difference is the auxiliary. With the present perfect, you use have or has. It depends mm -hmm. on the personal pronoun that you mentioned. With the past perfect, you use have with everybody. Okay. Then, mm -hmm. then uh, the rest of the structure is exactly the same. Now, what is the function of the past perfect? To talk about two different activities in the past, and you want to indicate which one happened first. Oh. So, for example, you said, I had already left when you called. I had already oh. left when you called. You call at the same time, the action. Not exactly. In that case, I think that you have left before the other one have called you. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Do, do you see the chat? Mm. Yeah. Okay. I had already left when you. Oh, I have already. Okay. Okay. So, how many events do we have there? Two. Okay, what happened first? Two events. Yeah. You left. Perfect. Left. You have already left. You have already left. You have already left. Okay. You are you are mixing two sentences there. Right, right. So if you analyze it, we're using two different structures, but the two structures will make um the past perfect. You have two different events. The past perfect indicates which action happened first. Which action? Now, I left and you called. What happened first? I left. I left. And maybe you called five minutes after. Says, can I speak to Francisco? I'm sorry, he left. Mm. So the following day, when I see you, you right. tell me, look, uh, I tell you, I had already left when you called. So that is the past perfect. But that is not the main topic for today. We're using some adverbs that we use in the past. So let me show you this paper here. What about while? While, okay, let, let me show you this. Okay. Okay, you see the document? Yeah. Mm, yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Now, what is the topic? Adverbs. Okay, adverbs. We use these adverbs in the simple past 
And we also use it in the past perfect. What's the function of afterwards, later, in the next day? We use it to talk about something that happens at a later time. Somebody please read the example that we have here. First, Okay. So first, the thief took my cell. And afterwards, he asked for my wallet. What happened first? Okay. The thief took my cell. Right. Myself. And then politely, he asked myself, you for your sorry. wallet. <laughs> I don't think they're polite. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know the meaning of the word polite. Yes. Grammatically speaking, they only use commands. Do this, do that. Give me, give me that. All right, number two. Somebody please read the others that we have in number two. When, as soon as, the moment it... Okay, so we have three different adverbs. We use when, as soon as, and the moment I got, when you're talking about two things that happen simultaneously. Two things that happen at the same time. Okay. Okay, can somebody read the first one? Everybody, Everybody left, left when I arrived. Arrive. Okay, so when they saw Francisco, people said, time to leave. So everybody left mm -hmm. when I arrived. Right. So we're talking about two different activities that, uh, that happen at the same time. What about the other one? Okay, this is very common with babies. When they see their mom, they see their dad, and they're holding something, the first minute that they see you, they start crying. <laughs> when you make eyes. <laughs> when you make eyes. <laughs> Okay, uh, hold on, hold on. I knew the... I knew they weren't friendly the time I got, that I got there. What is it? I knew they weren't friendly the time that I got there. Okay. So imagine it's your first day in an office and the, and the time that you get there, you feel something strange. <laughs> so you said, I knew they weren't friendly the time that I got there. So as soon as you take the first step into that office, you feel everybody looking at you, but not <laughs> nicely, not nicely. <laughs> like a strange people. Right, so you said, <laughs> I knew they weren't friendly the time that I got there. So once again, we're using these three to express two different events happening at the same time. Are we okay with number two? Yes, I'm okay. Um, so, so. Okay. Now we go with number three. Up until then, before that, and until that time. So we use these adverbs to express what happened before another event? Somebody please read the first example. Last political, Last political campaign, was campaign was there up until then I see believed in them. Okay. So can you explain this, this example? It's about a political campaign. They play bad or dirty. But in, in terms of sequence, so remember, that political campaign was dirty. Up until then, I still believed in them. What happened after the political campaign? After. You stop believing I in them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
you stop believing in yeah, the... Yeah, stop believing that. Yeah, because we hope uh, his or her promise, or their promise. Okay. Promises. So, yes. And they don't, they don't do anything. Okay. So last political campaign was dirty. Up until then, I still believed in them. So you're expressing something that happened before the political campaign. Um, number two, Eduardo, please read the example. I lost my car last month. I didn't know the value of the value of it, of it before that. Okay, so oh, you yeah. lost the car. Uh, you yeah. lost the car. So yes, before oh. you lost the car, you had you had it, but you never paid attention to it. You never value. Uh, yeah, you never valued the importance of of the car. What happened after you lost the car? Okay. What happened after you lost the car? Uh, you know the true value of uh, that. Exactly, Rodrigo. You learned the value of the car. Yeah. Having a car. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. Right. And the last one. Anybody? I had my first baby in Uy, in 1993. <laughs> Until that time, I didn't understand my mom's advice. Uh, <laughs> okay. A so big look, rock to me. <laughs> okay, so I had my first baby in 1993. Until yes. that time, I didn't understand my mom's advice. So what, what is the message? What happened after you had your baby? You understood your mother. Exactly. You understood your mom. Mm -hmm. So before you had your baby... You were yeah. saying, yes, mom, yes, mom, yes, mom. <laughs> and you didn't understand anything. Yeah. But when your baby came in 1993, mm -hmm. you understood what your mom's uh, you, words meant. What's the meaning of being a mother? Exactly. All right. So um, do we have any questions about these adverbs? Mm. I'm going to learn that to you. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Any questions? No. no question. Any question? No. Question. Can you? All right. Very can you good. Share us? Can you share us? Sure. Sure. I, I'm, I'm can you share us at WhatsApp group? Sure. Sure. I'm going to send you this later on. Um, okay. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. Now, as you remember yesterday, we didn't have the time to finish the exercise we were doing between the present perfect and the present perfect continuous. Do you remember that? Present perfect, I... Okay, I which, buy number, which number were you doing yesterday when we had to finish the, um, the session? I don't know, teacher. I, I wasn't yesterday in the class. Okay, yes, I know you were absent, Cindy. Uh, and, and the others, which number were you doing? Three. Um, four. Okay. Three or four. Um, okay, four. Three. Three. Number three. three. Okay, so remember what Teresa said. The main difference between the present perfect and the present perfect continues is uh, when you use the present perfect, when you're speaking, there is a possibility that the action that you mentioned, you're still doing it. So it's not finished. Also, we have another possibility that when you use the present perfect, the action that you mentioned, you're not doing it at the time you're speaking, but you can do it again. So it's not finished. Now, if we talk about the present perfect continuous, we're talking about an action that starts in the past and you are still doing it at the time you're speaking. Are we clear on that? Present perfect, same for the present perfect continuous. Okay, so let, let, let me make groups and please discuss your answers. Uh, we have four, five, yeah, let's do it like this.
Hello. 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 We yes. are like a part. Start oh. talking. Oh, I can't see it. anything. Could you hear me, Cindy? Yes, I can hear you. Nice to meet you. Maybe if this is the first time that we are going to speak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you have the the question? Uh, yes. 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 Well, um, and what number, number? Number three. Uh, were you work working yesterday? Well, we work in number one and number two. Okay. So we uh, are in maybe, three. Uh, Are you agree if, if we can start again because yesterday I have problem and like I couldn't. I okay. Could yeah. be in class. Okay. In which class. number were you doing yesterday? Maybe. I, sorry, teacher. Okay, for the ones that were present, which one were you doing yesterday? In my case? No, the ones that were present, which uh -huh. one were you doing? Your train ticket, yes. Had, I teacher, I don't understand this. Okay, just pay attention to the others, Cindy. Uh, Cindy, just pay attention to them, and when they start giving the answer, um, you will get what we're doing now. Okay. Okay, so the others, can you please start discussing the answers? Which one? Uh, you can start in whatever number. Let's say you start in number five. Well, for Cindy, I, I think number one, we can start. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, well, um, I have the question. Number one, answer is, have you bought your train ticket yet? Uh huh. Number two. The kitchen. I can see the question. We have to guess. Eduardo. Hi, teacher. Long time no see you, Eduardo. Long time no see. You. The, the things are very messed up in in the office. Really? So you're working yes. a lot. Working a lot and working too late. Uh, yesterday came to came came to my home at eleven. Okay, that's kind of late. That's kind of funny. <laughs> 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 you go sometime and then uh, you went uh, you 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 went to home uh, just just sleep and exactly exactly it happens. Do the same routine. Exactly. Tell me about it. Yeah, I know. Okay. Well, and the second one? The kitchen is a complete mess. It's a complete mess. What did children do? What have the children doing? What is it? Okay, which number are you doing? Number, number two. Number two. Okay, so the kitchen is a complete mess. What is bed? What is the children doing? What, what are the What are the children doing? Now, now remember, remember, we're using either oh. present perfect or present perfect continuous what? now in a real in a real life situation you can perfectly say hey the kitchen is a complete mess what are the children doing but in this case you have to choose one of the two have, have been doing what have the children doing what have the children do what have the children do? What have, what the, have children the children? Uh-huh. One more time. One more time. What have the children been doing? 
Very good. Mm. Hey, what that's have nice. the children been doing? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, what else? Well, number three. Julie has learned to drive. To drive. Has, let, me, let me think about it. Okay, that one is, is, is um, yeah, Julie to drive for six years. You can you can use both in the three sentence. Let's see. Because Julie has Julie learned has Julia learned to drive. Has been learning. Has been learning to drive for yes. six years. Yes, has been learning. Has been learning. Yes. Amanda already already have lunch. So she will meet us later. Uh, Amanda already had lunch. Already had lunch? Amanda? I think it's has. Had. Yeah, has. 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 has already or already has have. Remember that already can be used in different positions of the sentence. Okay. Amanda has already. Has, has, have, have, has, has have, have already launched. No, sorry. No, I think this is present for how much coffee? She has drunk this morning. Yes, that is correct. Had drunk this morning. Yes, how much coffee has she drunk this morning? Okay. Teacher, we had uh, uh, problems with number four. Okay. About the position of the... Uh, uh, <coughs> already. Okay, remember what we mentioned yesterday? That already can be... Um, put in different parts of the sentence. So you can perfectly say, Amanda has had already lunch. Or you can say, Amanda already has had lunch already, so she'll meet us later. Has uh, already have? Ah, uh, three, we have three options. Sure, you, you can change the position of already. Ah, uh, okay. But this has already and have is no, has, present has. perfect. It's present perfect, no. exactly. It has already and have. Exactly. Has already had lunch. Okay. Has already had lunch. Or you can also say has had lunch already. But if you want to make it easier and you want to leave it, the position that you have it in parentheses, then it's it, it's better like that. Has already. Okay. Okay, okay number six. Simon has wrote three books. Uh, the present but, perfect. Yeah, but the past participle of Writing. Writing. Right. I'm on not that has been writing. Reading. Three oh, books. Right. Simon has written three books. Yes. Simon yeah. has written three books. That okay. is correct. Good. Okay, number seven. I have done everything. I need to do today. Sorry.
I have done. Everything. Okay, which one are you doing right now? Seven. Okay, so what is the answer? I have done everything. Yes. I mm -hmm. have done everything I needed to do today. Hooray. Perfect. Yes. Remember, everybody has to say something. Everybody needs to participate. I'll come back. Okay. All song so the garden is there. Right. It hasn't rained all summer, so the garden is there. Number nine. I have read your book. Mm -hmm. I have read your book. I have yeah. read your I book. Have read yeah. book. I have read your book. That here is correct. Is bank here. Yes. She have forgotten. She have forgotten. Uh -huh. How, to get, to, How to get to my house. I have read your book. Here is it. Here is it. Thank you. And how to get to my house. Number she 10. has forgotten how to get to my house. I don't know if it's if it's correct. Which uh, number are you doing? And uh, number ten. Number ten. I think I yes. think that um uh, to me she she had forgotten. Uh huh. How, how to, to get, get to my house? To my yes, house. that is correct. She has forgotten how to get to my house. That is correct. Okay, and number eleven. I I have I or oh, I've been working in the garden all day, and I need a rest. Okay. Uh, well, is this correct, teacher? Uh, the two options are good. Okay. So you can say, I've been working in the garden all day and I need a rest. Or you can also say, I worked in the garden all day and then I need a rest. So the two options are good. Uh, okay. So when we want to emphasize that action, we can use present perfect continuous. Um, the, the question is, um, like this one in particular, if you use the two options, whether you use present perfect or present perfect continuous, the, the, the sentence is perfect. I mean, it's, it's, it's the, the two options are valid. So it depends on each circumstance. It depends on each scenario. So uh, okay. this one in particular, you can use the two options. The two options are good. Teacher, okay. but I have a question. But yes. in Spanish, to be more clearly for me. Yes. Uh, for example, but present perfect continuo es cuando nosotros queremos hacer como recalcar lo que hemos estado haciendo en ese momento. Ok. Bien. Present perfect continuous es algo que usted empezó a hacer en el pasado y todavía lo está haciendo con seguridad. Teacher, no es Spanish. When you're doing it for sure. When you're doing it for sure. Present perfect, you start in the past, mm -hmm. but um, there is the possibility that you're still doing the action or maybe you're not doing the action when you talk, but uh, you can do it again. Mm. With the present perfect continuous, you are doing the action still. You're still doing the action. Okay. And there Thank is you. no question about that. Mm, okay. Uh-huh. Teacher, did you teach yesterday how to pronounce with... I don't know what reduce. I've, the, I've, the, I've, 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 yes. Every time, every time that you use the present perfect, always try to use, uh, try to use contractions. Yes, contractions. So you can sound more natural. It's difficult. No, I'll be back. 
16. We, 16. we have, ah, we have uh -huh. been writing. Yes. We have been writing. Yes, we have been written. Written this we book. Have been this book for months and months. Seventeen. I always. I have. I have always loved chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. Okay. Yeah. I have always loved chocolate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In that case, love is a particular verb, right? Excuse me. Love doesn't, love doesn't love. change in whatever sense. Yes. And what? Love. Loved. Mm -hmm. Love. University for a long time. I have wanted. Mm, I don't know a team. Waiting. Wanting. It's present perfect continuous. I have been wanting to go back. Mm -hmm. Wanting? Wanting is the. Mm. Wanting? Want it. You mean Thank present you. perfect. Oh. I have wanted. I have been. What? I have been. Yeah. I have been. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, to in, be. In, in, in number 18, um, if, you're, if you're having a real conversation, you could use the two options. You could say, I have wanted to go back to university for a long time. And then some people might say, I've been wanting to go back to university for a long time. But grammatically speaking, present perfect sounds much better than the present perfect continuous. Right. So if you said, I have wanted to go back to university for a long time. Okay, okay. But, but remember this, in, in a real life situation, in a real life conversation, uh, you can use the two options and the two options are good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Sure. Okay. Stop it. Yeah, thanks. Ah, mm. what? Um, what's that delicious that's smell? That's delicious smell. Uh, have you, have you, have cooking? you been cooking? cooking? Have you been cooking? Yeah. Have you, have you been cooking? Yeah. Yes. I think it's, it's okay. Okay. Have you been cooking? Have you been cooking? Mm -hmm. And 20. I, 20, let me share that again. I have watched. Seven I have films watched. this week. Seven I films. Have, I, have, I have been, I have been watching. Okay, so things this week. My God. Um, I think it's present perfect. What do you think about I that? Have, I have watched seven films this week. Yes, because this week is not finished yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can watch more videos. Exactly. More exactly. exactly. Yeah. We can continue with them. Which one are you doing? We finished. Oh, so nobody's talking? <laughs> we are listening the soap opera. Yeah, I was going to say that, like, okay, I think everybody's quiet because they're listening to Maribel's soap opera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I heard someone say, uh, Maribel, don't change the channel, please. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, I have to go to my bed, teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, did you guys have any questions about the exercises? Uh, was there any exercise in particular that uh, you're not completely convinced? Me, when, when I use already. Okay, remember that we use already to make questions or to express something that is already finished. So you said, uh, would you like um, a hamburger? And then you say, no, thanks. I have already eaten. Or I have eaten already. Already can be used in the middle of the sentence or it can be used at the end. Mm -hmm. And we use it for positive sentences. Okay. Any others? No? People? No. Okay. So we have Robert, Rodrigo, and Evelyn in this group. So is everything clear regarding the present perfect and the present perfect continuous? Yes. The yes. position of is yes. the position yes. of always. For uh -huh. example, number seventeen. I always love chocolate. Okay. I, I have always loved I chocolate. Have always I have. Uh, yes, I have always. She has okay. always participated in all the events. We have always. <sighs> save money uh, for Christmas, let's say. So, always comes after the auxiliary. Okay, thanks. Any other questions? No? Mm. Okay, um, okay I'll, 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 I'll come back in a few minutes. Okay. I have, I, I got it. I didn't. <laughs> you, Lord, did you take notes, right? Yes. Okay. You said Which, we have all. So you yeah. finished already? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. I'll be back. Okay. Okay, do we have any questions about the exercise you guys finished? Mm, no, I just need to advise teacher to improve the construction pronunciation. Okay, just use it. I've, been, uh, Dave. It, it, everything is practice. Dave. Everything is just practice. Practice, practice, practice. Okay. Yeah. We have. Yes, we have. Uh, I've. Uh -huh. You've. They, uh, Dave. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, any questions about the exercise? No. Mm, no. No. Everything is clear. I think so. Yes. Okay. 
So let's do some reading comprehension, pronunciation right here. Okay, before I show you the image, um, what do you think technology is going to be like 10 years from now? Oh, teacher, maybe you can teletransport. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking the same. <laughs> okay. When, when you maybe call, uh, do a, a call. <laughs> or let me see. I don't know. Maybe you can fly with your cell phone. Okay, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Maybe I that don't will be know. a new app. <laughs> right. <laughs> How do you say saldo in English? Saldo. Uh huh. No, I'm not teacher. I don't know. I don't know. Credit phone. <laughs> huh? Credit phone. <laughs> Credit phone says Freddy. Okay, you can say, um, you see the chat? Uh, let me see. Yes, it is. Okay, what did I just type? You are, you are typing. Yeah, what did I write? I can see. Me neither. Okay, hold on. Um, you see it? Phones. 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 In, in some places, people also call it airtime. Airtime. Yep, airtime. Air uh, phones. Yeah, uh, the two options are good because as one of you guys were saying, well, maybe you can travel with your cell phone. Maybe you have to put some type of special font or airtime in your cell phone. Okay. Okay. Uh, what other innovation do you think we will have? Um, what do you call it? Uh, what other innovation will we have 10 years from now in terms of technology? Uh, teacher, uh, right now I think that we have a lot of technology. Uh, the unique uh, problem is that we are... Uh, how do you say atrasado? We are late? No, behind. We are behind. Because, for example, uh, the, this year I I receive a course when you, I, I learn a, a edit video. Uh -huh. And or my, my ex teacher told me that uh, ch Chinese people use video in a four, 4K, 4K. Yeah, 4K. In El Salvador, we know how that technology. Okay. Maybe in, in phone like the theory or maybe the iPhone uh, 11. Yes, okay. So we understand that we are behind in terms of technology. Yes, the question is, behind, okay, but the question is, where, yeah. how do you see El Salvador 10 years from now in terms of technology? Anybody? Mm -hmm. Uh, in the president teacher <laughs> in the too. Okay, we're going to else? have electric electric cars. Okay, we're we'll, we'll uh, have we electric have, cars. Electric well, in ten car years, ready. I will see it like Mexico. <laughs> How, Robert? Because I'm talking about uh, compare it in technology with uh, with Mexico. We'll be okay. Oh, so easy. what? So what Mexico has now? Is what we will see in 10 years. Is that what you're yes. saying? Okay. Yes. Okay, fine. And, and what is some of that technology, Robert? Well, let's say that probably, probably we will have a train. Okay. Most likely, but I don't know if that is going to be pretty functional. Okay. Fine. Anybody else? Uh, any other innovations for the future in terms of technology? Maybe we are going to have more electric car. Electric car. We oh. have nine in El Salvador. I, oh. There is a like a station in Santa Elena uh -huh. to charge your electric car. Did okay. you know that? No. I, I watched that in the, the news. 
Oh. Uh, well, oh, that, that is that expensive. Okay. There's an issue with that since there's not a law okay. that can regulate that and as well the prices. They are having issues with the prices since the price of a uh, used car uh, that you brought from from the United States is always lower than the price of the electric car uh, of the electric car that they would like to, to sell to you. Oh. Okay. Okay. So there, that's the issue that they are facing at this moment. Oh, okay. Okay. Anybody else wants to give your opinion about uh, innovations in terms of technology in El Salvador ten years from now? Teacher, teacher, yes, how, do you, how do you see imprenta? Ten years from now. Uh, I'm gonna put it right here in the chat. Print. You say print shop. Print shop. Uh, let me put it in the chat. It's a nice name to a a, a, a business I, teacher. I I, I yeah. think that that print shop will disappear. Will disappear. The, okay. The, yeah. Will that be, yeah that a lot of people think that. So books are going to be antiques. Antiques. How do you say? Yeah, yeah. antiques. 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 Everybody Antiques. is going to read in PDF. <laughs> yeah. Teacher. PDF files. E-books. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, or maybe Teacher. audio books. Okay. Yeah. Okay, someone else? Somebody wanted to say something. Teacher, I, I think in, in El Salvador, the new technology can, um, can be... Um, uh, uh, 3D technology? Sure. Yes, it's, it's a... 3D printer technology? Yes, yes. It's a new trend. Uh-huh. It's a new trend. Okay, very good. Okay, so listen, you I know, don't... Uh-huh, yeah. Speak. I, I, I saw a video uh, in, in Russia. Uh -huh. uh, they used a 3D printer to build homes. Yes. Did you believe really... that? <laughs> okay. That's crazy. Yes, it is. To what? To build house. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, te yeah, yeah, technology has a lot of benefits nowadays. Yeah. So we, have, we are behind. Yeah, you should try to. Okay. Okay, so tomorrow, uh, our okay. first activity, I'm going to show you the, the paragraph that I intended to, to show you today, but we don't have much time. So we're going yes. to finish the conversation here. And uh, once again, thank you for making the space. I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Okay. Okay, Have a good night. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 B